What's up folks, it's Jeff at Fiber Laser Training. Tonight we wanted to do a, uh, a coaster. Wanted to deep engrave a slate coaster. I think I'm gonna put Noah's name under the bottom of it. That's why I left him a nice little space there to put, put a name. But that's pretty deep. I don't know, Chris, if you can get in there and see it pretty good. But I wanted to show you how to deep engrave a coaster like this. So that's what gave us this. Uh, the approximate runtime on that was like 55 seconds a pass. It's a pretty large, just 75 millimeters by 60 millimeters. So it's relatively large. If we were to hatch the whole thing, it would take a, a good long while. And I'm gonna show you everything that I did to get to this point um, from focus. I wanna show you a little trick that I use with, uh, with our red light auxiliary cat pointing laser and the reason we don't use that is because of our focus stick so Chris can you see this red light on the corner of the slate here so I've got it nice and square where I want it and I want to be able to move it and put it back to where it's nice and square where I want it and that's what I'm using this for so I've got it trained on a specific location and I learned this when I was doing Yeti cups and I would put that red light right in between the E and the T. And that way when I put the next cup up there, there wasn't no lining it up. We were good to go, hit go. So now I can move this and put the laser in focus. I use a focus stick. Every laser's lens is gonna have a different focal point. And uh, I focus to underneath the galvo head, all of my sticks do. And you want it to where it just barely will sit in there, where it's not causing a lot of pressure. You don't want to side load the galvo head. But that's now I'm in focus. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I could probably go up just a little bit. And you want to stay away from the lens. And that's also why this is wood, um, because it won't scratch the lens as easy. It would scratch it, I'm sure. But now that we're in focus, I'm going to set that guy right back where it was. And if I line the edge of that, up with my red light, then I know it's right back where it was. So we'll go ahead and cut that red light off. And you can see our image is this here. And I wanted to show you, now I'm using a 50 watt uh, Rekha source laser. This is 175 millimeter lens. And on pins one, two, and three, or zero, one, and two rather, on pin zero, one, and two. On zero, my settings are 1200 millimeters a second, 88% power, and 78 kilohertz. Pin one's 2000 millimeters a second, 44% power, and 64 kilohertz. And pin two is 3000 millimeters a second at 30% power and 50 kilohertz. And those are the pins I'll use because we're gonna use the, the hammer shovel sweep method that we used in our previous video just to do the brass coin or stainless coins or whatever it is that you wanna do. Now we'll go to the hatch. So we can hit control H and bring up our hatch panel. And you can see uh, this is exactly about how like I would set my hatch up using pin zero. These coasters are using a .07 line space. We use the bi-directional uninterrupted hatch, which is the all blue one that goes in a zigzag. That's on hatch one. And we're rotating our angle by 63 degrees. On hatch two is pretty much the same thing. We use the semi-optimized at .07 and using pin one. And we're still rotating at 63 degrees. Pin three we'll use our unidirectional interrupted hatch using pin two, still at a point zero line, seven, zero seven line space and 63 rotation. So we did this video last night. Uh, me, Noah and Chris sat there and did it. And we did, well I had to do uh, 25 coasters. And we did a couple, we really did this already. And then I realized that I've got a non-disclosure signed with that particular customer and it didn't hit me until we were done. And I was like, oh, that probably wasn't the smartest thing to do. So we kind of had to redo it. We're doing it on the fly. I had training tonight and it kind of ran 
till we started this. So unfortunately Noah's in the bed for this video, but Chris, we're gonna see what Chris's editing skills are looking like and see if he can uh, loop him in there somehow. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit go on this. And you can see it marking. So we've got our Fumex back there sucking in the excess powder. But we got no more coasters to do. I do got a bunch of pins to do tonight. Uh, these pins are super easy to mark. I got them in a whole bunch of different colors. People love the pins. I always like to put from mine stolen from you know my business <laughs> so people get a kick out of it. But I do want to show while this is running, and we're going to see how long the cycle time is. It was about 55 seconds last time. But I just got uh, a new product, and these are 50 millimeter coins. 50 millimeter brush, brushed brass coins. And if I could find the opening here, we'd be in much better shape. Well, you can't get it out of the case, so you gotta laser it through the case. There it goes. Do you see that, Chris? It's pretty big in comparison to the 40 millimeter. So, that'll be pretty cool. Oh! We're gonna laser one up. See what it looks like. Should be pretty cool, but it's the same, three millimeter stick. It's got that art misalignment groove all the way around it on both sides. So it should laser up pretty cool. We may do this logo on the coin and see what it comes out looking like. But while this is finishing up, we have to go to our favorite part of the show. Without further ado, dad jokes. Time for dad jokes. It's my favorite time. So I got a good one for you guys. All right, you ready for it? You say it's a good one every time you tell a dad joke. They're really terrible. Rude, <laughs> first off. They're not that bad. Most, most people laugh at them. Anyway, what did the janitor say when he jumped out of the closet? I give up. What? Supplies! <laughs> I can't no more. Rude. So it's running its last pass right now, guys. We're on pass seven of eight. The cycle time is about 59 seconds for this particular graphic and artwork size of 75 millimeters high and 60, or excuse me, 75 millimeters wide and 60 millimeters high. So I was gonna let it finish this pass and take it off the laser and see what it looks like. And maybe it looks fantastic. Now we got that sweet pass. We got that one more sweet pass. But thank you guys for all the, the support and watching in the comments and Noah loves them and I really appreciate it and hit that like button and the bell and subscribe and share and all that good stuff and we still are going to be giving away a 30 watt laser you got to stay tuned for more details there it is last pass right off the laser let's we'll see we can wipe it off What do you think, Chris? It looks pretty good. So I'd say it's about three quarters of a millimeter deep. And it's deep enough to feel and it's not too deep to actually mess with anything that you're setting it on top of it. So thanks for watching. Hope you're engraving slate coasters just like this in five minutes also.